Hey guys, welcome back. It's 2021 and I'm running out of storage. So what we're going to do today is take a look at that uh, Unraid server that I built, I think back in 2015, 2016. I'll, uh, I'll link the video up in the cards. Uh, there's a, a playlist you can go back and watch the whole build from the beginning. Uh, but we've uh, what we're going to do is I picked up a new motherboard, new CPU, uh, and another raid card for it. Uh, motherboard, we're going super micro. It's uh, X9SCM-F from uh, from eBay. They're about 50 bucks. Uh, that gives us uh, a few more enterprise features. It has like um, uh, IPMI and stuff like that. Uh, we're using server CPU, server mother, or server RAM. Uh, so we've upgraded to a Xeon E3 1230v2. Uh, it's last gen, but should be just enough for what we need uh, and also keep it inexpensive. So that's probably another 30, 40 bucks on eBay. Uh, it takes a while to ship, but uh, relatively inexpensive. Uh, I've also picked up another LSI 9211 um, HBA card. If you haven't seen it or don't remember, uh, the chassis that I have that does have 12 front-facing uh, drive bays, in order to use all 12 of those, you need... Uh, three SAS ports. So um, the original build only had the two on the uh, the LSI card that's in there. So I picked up another one so that we can enable the usage of the top row uh, of that, uh, that disc chassis. So let's get into it. Uh, we're going to uh, pull the server out of the rack. We're going to shut it down, pull it out, and then we'll have it sitting in here. Uh, and we can uh, start pulling out the old parts and putting in the new stuff. So we're here in the, the server room. I've just shut down the Unraid server. It's this box here. So this is where I'm talking about, uh, I've only got two rows of drives in here. Um, the third row is not uh, plugged into anything. So we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna put in the new components. Um, and then we should be able to light up that row of hard drives and see what the performance increase uh, with the new CPU and RAM setup uh, will give us. So let me pull that out and we'll go back to the office. Okay, so, got the server, uh, we're gonna crack it open, it's been a long time since I opened it, so it might be a little bit dirty, and we slide open, and there she is, the tiny little MITX board, put that aside, so the problem that I have is that this case, there are 12 drive bays on the front, and when I put this motherboard in, when I had it, I got this board for either so cheap or basically free. Uh, so um, I didn't bother with it at the time because I didn't have that many drives anyway. Uh, but we only have one PCI slot, so we only have the single LSI card in here. That gives us four ports for each of these cables, so I could only run eight drives on the front. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this board out. I have a second... Um, it's actually way cleaner in here than I thought as well. Uh, we have a second um, LH9i. This is the LH9a for the AMD uh, APU that's in here. Uh, so we're going to pop this out, throw in the new motherboard. I actually have an IO shield for this, so that's exciting. So I won't have this big hole at the back. Um, and yeah, once we put everything together, we should be uh, pretty well good to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this LSI card. Then we're going to unplug everything. Um, and I gotta make sure I have enough standoff screws uh, for the new board. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, and yeah, we should be able to get it out of here. So let's grab ourselves a screwdriver. There it is. So this is our HBA card. We have a second one that we're gonna put in uh, to take care of the third slot that we need. I'm gonna quickly unhook everything. Out comes the old motherboard. I'll find some way to reuse this thing. We actually have an I.O. shield this time. So that's kind of nice. This is the new board. Notice the similar cooler on the top. This is the 9i. The other one is the 9a. So we've got the old motherboard out. The standoffs we need to match to the um, new motherboard. Um, so we're gonna probably we're gonna use the same four here. We'll double check that those are right. Uh, we also need a single one here, I believe. Pull that plastic tab out, and then we'll need to move 
the guys that are over here up to the top here. So we just need to make sure we've got the right holes. Let's go pull these ones out first. While we're here, I might as well pop this ram out. So what I originally had was these two gig sticks. I'm throwing in these four gig Hynix sticks. That at least gives us 16 gigs of RAM in the server. Or we're only getting eight. That makes it equivalent to what the original Unraid server was. Okay, so we've got our power cable cables hooked up. So this power supply is a 400 watt power supply. Should be plenty for this, even with all the discs. Um, we've got our uh, eight pin. It's a split in this, uh, so those two are together uh, in port. We can put back in our HBA card now, uh, and then we'll hook up our HBA cables. And then we also need to run one more HBA cable or SAS cable, uh, and then. The final step would be to put in the other card. So let's put in our original card. Here's the original HBA card. We'll stick it right in where it fits. Then we'll put our SAS cables back in the order they were in. So the bottom. Uh, and we do need to put the front panel IO stuff back on. We'll find that and then we'll get out our other HBA. Card. I guess I can do this part last. This is the new HBA card. We're going to pop that out and put the low profile mount on it. Okay, so we have the second HBA card. Same thing, it's an LSI 9211. Third number two. Okay, so now we've got the HBA cards in. Uh, I've got this mini SAS cable. Both the ends are the same. Uh, one end goes to the HBA card here, uh, and the other end goes to the back plane. So there's a port on the back of the back plane that is the same. Take these off, we'll run it the same route as the other cables go. Okay, so it looks like everything's hooked up. Uh, we've got our two HBA cards, everything's plugged in. We've got This is our fan header for the uh, Noctua cooler. Got a RAM set, got this down here. Our power cables plugged in, our uh, front port or front panel um, power switch headers are down here. Uh, it took me a while to find those. Uh, we've got the SAS cable plugged into the top lane of the USB or the um, uh, the drive bays. Uh, and we should be able to fire this thing up and see if she boots. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab a power cable and I should be able to plug it into the monitor behind here and uh, we'll fire it up. It's time for the moment of truth. I've got a monitor hooked up and a keyboard. They're down here below me because I don't have enough room on my desk. Uh, we've got power. I'll plug it in and nervously hope that there's nothing wrong. Got lights on the board. Power supply fan spun up. Don't smell anything yet. So let's hit the power button. Got a beep. Got spinning fans. We've got HBA cards lit up. Don't like that sound. We've got six beeps. Let's see what that means. So according to the internet, it's a memory error. Let's pop these RAM sticks out and see if we can post on one.
He's registered. This might be registered sticks. Let's go back to our two gigs and see if that works. I know that these are unbuffered. Got output on the monitor. Got three beeps. Four beeps. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like that's registered memory. I'm gonna have to buy a set of uh, better UDIMs. But we'll fill this with uh, two gigs for now. We'll have eight gigs. Uh, but uh, we got the system up and running. I'm trying to pixie boot. Okay. We'll shut her down. We gotta do some bio stuff. But at least it's working now. We'll throw the other RAM sticks in. Just so I got a little bit more RAM to work with. And then we will uh, set this up and get back to you. It's back in the rack and wired up. We've got IPMI now, so that's cool. I'm going to try and set that up, and we will press on. We'll let that boot up, and we'll go back to the computer and make sure everything works right. Okay, so we've got the server running. Uh, it's set up and turned back on. I did open up um, Unraid just to check if everything was good, and I started up the array. Everything came up right. It sees all my devices. Um, I will have to just throw um, a drive in that top uh, top row just to make sure that that HBA card is reading um, reading the drives, but uh, I'll do that uh, after this. Um, if we take a look at the dashboard, we can see on the left here, we've got our new motherboard, Supermicro X9SEM. Uh, the new CPU, which is a little, we got a lot more... A lot more threads than the old one. Uh, it's the E3 1230v2 at 3.3 gigahertz. Pretty good. 8 gigs of <laughs> single bit ECC. Uh, I'll scour eBay and find something better. I'll probably end up putting 32 gigs of RAM in, in this. Uh, I did have the network interface backwards, so I switched that around and we got that up and my UPS uh, monitoring worked right, uh, right away. So. Everything's back up and running. I can go to my, um, I'll go to ISOs. I can go to my ISOs folder. This is on the Unraid server. So I can access everything and see my old Dell firmware and all my images and stuff like that. So we're good there. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I guess we'll switch over to this view and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed that uh, quick upgrade, don't forget to actually go back and watch the original build videos. Those are a lot more interesting than this, I think. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. 75% uh, of people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you aren't uh, and you feel like watching some more maybe in the future, uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon if you actually want to get notified. I don't upload that often, so uh, maybe the bell icon if you actually want to, uh, you know, see when my next video comes out because it could be two months from now or three months from now who knows um i think that's about it so thanks for watching guys and uh i'll see you in the next one hopefully